ever wondered about the differences between the Weimaraner and the Doberman? Well, in today's video, we'll be comparing these two energetic, full of life, large dogs. Welcome back to the Fenrir Weimaraner Show. If this is your first time here, then my name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything that we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you to become a high-level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss a future upload. So let's dive into today's video where we will be comparing these two beautiful breeds. Let's first start with the history with the Weimaraner. This breed originated in Germany and they were first bred for hunting purposes in the early 19th century. Some of the first Weimaraners were owned and used by royals to hunt large game like deer, boar and bear. Over the years, as these animals were hunted less and less and Weimaraners adapted to hunt foxes, rabbits and fowl instead of the bigger game. This breed was originally kept in the Weimar court from where they developed their name. And it's said that these beautiful dogs could have descended from St. Hubert hounds or Sheehan Grease dogs. These dogs were then bred to setters and pointers to create the breed that is so loved today. In 1880, a Weimaraner was first exhibited at a show in Berlin, and in 1881, the first recognised purebred litter was born. It wasn't until 1896 that the first breed standards were created by a man named Major von Buno. Following that, in 1897, the first Weimaraner club was formed. The Doberman Pinscher was a working dog that also originated in Germany. They were first bred by a German tax collector in 1870, who also managed the town dog pound. It's believed that herding and cattle dogs are the foundation of the original Doberman breed, and the dog's graceful appearance that we recognise today was refined through the Manchester Terrier and Greyhound additions to the bloodline. There is no relation to the miniature Pinscher, although they are strikingly similar. The Weimaraner, also known as the Grey Ghost, is a medium to large breed that has an athletic, muscular appearance. Male Weimaraners stand at around 23 to 28 inches at the withers and can weigh up to 88 pounds, with females usually smaller and lighter. Weimaraners have long heads, long ears that are set high on the head. They have long necks and strong legs. Weimaraners have always originally had dock tails, but as docking is now illegal in many countries, so you will mostly see their narrow, slim tail. Weimaraners have short, distinctive silvery coats that are easy to maintain. Many Dobermans exhibit the typical black and tan markings, but they can come in several colour variations, including black and tan, red and tan, fawn and even blue. However, black and red base coats with tan markings are the most common colours. Males average 70 to 90 pounds, with females around 50 to 70. They are a similar height to the Weimaraner and can grow up to 28 inches at the shoulder. Their tails are docked and ears often cropped, although you will find many now without the cropped ears. The Doberman is sleek and graceful with a lean body and long legs to match its pointed head and elongated snout. Hey guys, just a really quick message to ask you, are you on TikTok? And if you are on TikTok, I think you'd really enjoy coming and checking out our Fenrir page over on TikTok. There'll be a link in the description box below. Don't worry, you're not going to see me dancing, but I promise you there's tons of extremely valuable, helpful content of me working with dogs and providing as much information and helpful, valuable tips and tricks along the way to help you become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you are interested, I can't wait to see you over on TikTok but in the meantime, I'll let you get back to the video you were watching. Weimaraners are a lively, energetic breed and they're commonly known as Velcro dogs as they adore being by your side 24-7. They will happily join you with any type of exercise like runs, hikes and biking and require at least two hours of exercise a day and the chance to be able to stretch their legs and run at least two to three times a week. This can be in a fenced backyard or if they've got good recall, then on fields whilst out on a walk. The breed will also appreciate playtimes or a game of fetch in the garden. Weimaraners are known as the dog with the human brain and are extremely clever which means they're easy to train in manners, obedience and toilet training. Positive reinforcement is essential when training your Weimaraner as they don't respond well to harsh punishments or shouting. A downside to this intelligent breed is that if they're not properly exercised both mentally and physically they soon turn to bad habits such as chewing and barking. 
Vimeranas can quickly figure out how to open crates, gates and doors and they will become Houdinis to try and escape their boring surroundings and find a better adventure. The Doberman has been used for military and police work, search and rescue as well as service work. They are highly intelligent and generally have a high energy level as well, so they also require an owner who can commit to giving them plenty of daily exercise and mental stimulation. Because of their high energy level and drive, Dobermans can be willful and determined when excited, so they need a calm and consistent leader to keep them on the right track. Vimeranas are an extremely loyal breed to their owners and they can take some time to warm up to visitors. They enjoy being around children as this means that they get extra playtime. However, be careful with small children as Vimeranas are such large dogs and can accidentally knock them over. It's also important to teach any children how to treat your Vimerana and when to leave them alone. There should be no issues with your Vimerana living with other dogs or pets if you put the time and effort into socialise your dog to different situations. Bear in mind that they do have a high prey drive due to their ancestry as hunting dogs and if not properly socialised they can clash with other dogs and animals. You will find that your Vimerana won't actively approach other dogs when they're out on walks. They will happily stay with you and assess the situation first. The Doberman needs tons of socialisation throughout their life, but especially in their early years, in lots of different situations in order to become the perfect canine companion and family dog. They are fiercely loyal to their owner and can develop separation anxiety as a result if they aren't properly conditioned to be alone. They do well with children but because of their energy level they should be supervised until the children are older. They are quite affectionate with their favourite person and they will be glued to their owner's side often giving them long adoring stares. To summarise, both of these breeds can be wonderful, lively additions to any family with the right socialisation and training. Finding the best breed for you, your family and your lifestyle is really important and I definitely suggest doing plenty of research before bringing a canine companion into your home. Knowing more about your chosen breed will definitely help you in caring for them and giving them a happy and healthy life. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you're new here to make sure that you subscribe. We've got three dedicated Vimerana videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Vimerana Show.